Hey, what's up, boys and girls of the Mirror Cult? Welcome to another another episode of Mirror News. And we got a super spicy topic here. Vren versus Indonesian content creator. That is it. Yes, Vren actually did ask for a lawyer on his story, which we will, we will get to later. But firstly, I'll give you some context to the story. Fredrin Sambo is the name of the content creator, in I at least in TikTok. It's like a meme name here in Indonesia. But... He's also known as Bangkumis. Most people call him Bangkumis, which is Mr. Mustache. Okay, so we'll refer to him as Bangkumis during this video. So he's a content creator that focuses on commentary mainly, and it's a it's a, his content is very satirical. It's, it's satire, right? He basically talks about anything that goes on in the MLBB Indonesian space, and he makes very sarcastic comments, and, you know, stuff like that. That's his content. So recently. I'll put the video up here as well for you guys to watch. And, you know, the audio is definitely not... I'm not going to put the audio there because it is fully in Indonesian. I have translated it. I will translate everything to you guys right now. So I'll give you the context while the video is playing. So recently, he uploaded a video on TikTok where he stitched another TikTok clippers, this clip of Jonathan Liandi's content. Jonathan Liandi is a content creator as well who does podcasts with people in MLBB. And in this clip in particular, it was Jonathan Liandi who was doing a podcast with BTR's Max. Uh, the jungle for a bigatron back in season 10. In this clip, in this in this clip of the interviewer of the podcast with Jonathan Yandi, Max said that back when Vren was coaching for Bigatron Alpha, he wasn't really close to the players, and during scrims he would just stay in his room. In one occasion, the players actually opened IG during scrims and saw that Vren posted a story saying minus one mythic because he was playing ranked alone. So during scrims, Bigatron the Bigatron players while they were doing scrims, um Vren was in his room just playing ranked, apparently, from what Max said. Now, this is where the clip, or this is where Bang Kumis stitched that clip from that podcast. And uh, let's go, go back to that video now. Bang Kumis' video, here it is, where he gives further context of Vren's time in Bigatron Alpha, also from the same podcast. So the information that he has is from the same podcast. If you guys want to watch it, Jonathan Liandi, BTR Max, that's the podcast. The link will be in the description below. So apparently Bigatron had another PH coach that shall not be named and that Vren was actually brought in initially as an analyst for season 10. But this coach's style was a very military, strict style and it didn't fit well with the players. So the players didn't really like the way he was coaching and the coach also didn't like how the players didn't like that he was coaching uh, with this style. So they ended up having like quarrels and basically arguments and it led to this coach, this first initial coach, to get fired or kicked. And that's when Vren automatically, uh, you know, that automatically he had to basically fill the head coach role for Bigatron Alpha in season 10. And he, when he was the guy drafting at the start of the of Bigatron season, together with the team, uh, they were actually losing matches. Then Bankumis continues saying that based on the base of his understanding, based on his understanding of what Max is saying about Vren in the podcast, is that Vren is a very sensitive dude. He gets mad and he gets upset very easily. So at the start of the season of season 10, Bigatron actually were drafting together with the coach, which is Vren, and the players. So the players and the, the coach would be drafting together. But they kept losing at the start. It got to a point where Vren felt the players didn't trust him anymore and he got upset. To a point where, like we heard in the clip that I transcribed or that I subtitled or not subtitled, but I translated earlier, he would just be alone in his room while the players scrimmed. Since the first half ended, the players decided to draft themselves. And turns out they actually did better without Vren than uh, they were doing with Vren. Going from the red zone to making it to playoffs in the second half of the season, they... And basically, yeah, they ended the season, they made it to playoffs, and they obviously kicked Vren. So Bangkomis continued to say that he just finds it so weird that even with the previous experience of Bigatron Alpha... Like this whole issue with Vren and Bigatron Alpha, RQ still decided to take Vren. And now RQ, this is what Bangkumis is saying, not me, I'm just quoting and translating. Now RQ are suffering the same thing that BTR faced. When Vren, where Vren completely has basically disappeared, not even on stage again, to coach and help the team. Then Bangkumis, this is also Bangkumis, he also goes on to say that the coach's attitude matters. It doesn't matter if he's actually good, it doesn't matter if he's a world champion, it doesn't matter if the players actually like do get better with him, he needs to fix his attitude. And the worst part for Bangkumis is when RQ lost last week in week eight, Vren actually posted a story saying, thanks for season 13. 
because he thought RQ is already is basically already out of playoff contention, where in reality they weren't. They still have a chance. And Bankumis said that you know this is such a dick move because as a coach you're supposed to support your players, you're supposed to give them motivation, you're not supposed to give up like that. Well, just you know. And to make it even worse, it's the wrong calculation. He thought RQ was out of playoffs, and it turns out they weren't. You know, like they they could actually still make it to playoffs. And uh, Bankumis continued then again to say. If Ren actually got the information wrong of RQ making it to playoffs or not, then he, well, honestly, he shouldn't have. He should be able to actually be, he should be able to read the standings himself and see that RQ still has a chance. That's what Bankumis said. So Bankumis then also said that Ren doesn't give a fuck about RQ based on that story, based on their, and he doesn't give a fuck about the placement as well because he's more concerned about posting stories and being on social media. And then he continues to say that if RQ decides to take him or to keep him next season, he should just be an analyst and they should get Ducky to... to so, okay, this final line is a bit fucking savage from Bankumis. But yeah, if they want to keep Ren, they should just keep him as an analyst and they should get Ducky so that Ducky can carry him just like he did in AP Ren. That's where all the drama started. So yeah, right after that video was uploaded... Uh, obviously, Vren, there was a comment from Vren as well in the initial video, but we'll talk about the story first because our Vren, this is where it got really big. Because initially, again, like I said, that content creator, he's known for satire, he's known for being sarcastic, he's known for just commenting on teams. But then Vren posted this story, which says, looking for a lawyer, recommendations are welcome. Sometimes content creator creators need to know who they're dealing with. That was also when I got, you know, basically, I that's when I paid attention to it. I was like, wait, What's going on? And I found that initial video from the content creator. And now we are going to watch the response of the content creator to Vren. And it's in English, so we'll just react to it. All right, so here it is. Let's just let's just watch it. It's in English, so you guys should be able to understand, hopefully. Oh, wow. Senpai friend is noticing me. My G has more time in social media than in MPL stage. Bro, friend, let me tell you in English in case you don't understand Bahasa. Dan buat lu pada kalau nggak ngerti, nggak tahu ada ada translate sih harusnya. First of all, do you even know the difference between a defamation and a fake? Nah, I don't think you know that. I will speak for Fran Gaming too, the one that I stitched the video. So we we just record what has been saying by Max, your ex player from BTR season 10. If anything, you have to file a lawsuit for Max too, for spreading a false information. But I don't think Max will lying to Jonathan Liandi in Empathok. I don't think he will do that. But still, if you think that Max has made a false accusation about yourself, feel free to take us to the court. I can recommend you some of the best lawyers in Indo. Otman Paris or Oce Kaligis. Those are they, lawyers they, they, in Indo. They are good lawyers. I have two advice for you, my bro friend. First, if you think that all of these are all false accusations, just clarify, man. Just make a clarification. You have so much time in social media, in Instagram, in TikTok. Just make a one video that explain anything, everything. What happens in BTR season 10? What happens in RRQ now? Or do you want to be in the empath talk? I can speak to Jonathan Liandi. He can invite you to be in the podcast. You can clear your name. Simple. My second advice will be just start doing good, man. You are the coach of one of the best team in Indo with the largest fan base. Of course, the pressure will be massive. Just stop doing some stupid, useless IG story, man. The, the netizen will punish you if you're doing bad. They will punish you so bad in social media. I, I'll tell you this. So that's all, my bro friend. Good luck with your case. I will gladly waiting for you in my home in Flores Island. Do you know where Flores Island is? You should come here, visit me. You can have good holiday here or we can baku pukul ya pukim mai ini. Yeah, we can have good holiday. We can have a good holiday here or we could just like, you know, start fist fighting basically is what, what he said. And uh, yeah, moving on with the story. After this uh, video that was made by um, Mr. Bangkumis, we got another story from Mr. AP and also Vren deleted his story, deleted his comment as well on TikTok and deleted his story on IG. And Mr. AP, the CEO of RRQ, posted this picture, uh, well, posted this story on IG saying, 
you guys, like, you just, I can't believe you guys fell for that prank, you know? The prank of Banco Miss and Vren. I can't believe it. I can't believe you fell for it. You'll, you'll see the picture here. And um, this is where it, again, gets kind of funny because we have a response video well, from, again, from Banco Miss as well. And I'll play it for you guys right now and we'll also react to it. It's in Indo, uh, but I will translate to you guys in um, in English, obviously. So let's move to that video. Here it is. This is the so this is his answer to the story that Mr. AP made. There was comments because in the comment section of his video asking if this whole thing was a prank, and yeah, he basically goes on to say like to everybody, everybody that wants to know if it's a prank. Look at his face. Does it look does does his face look like his does it look like a scammer? Does he look like a like a guy who would prank? <laughs> and he said, Yeah, yeah, I actually do look like <laughs> I do actually look like a scammer, but no, I did not prank. I don't like doing pranks. Some comedy there, some satire. And he's not And he's like, Yeah, and the only the only oh, the only party that got pranked is RQ because because RQ got pranked by Coach Ren this season, basically. So there's, oh my god, this guy's still making satiric. Like, I, I love this guy for like for saying, you know, his mind out. But yeah, yeah, let's continue this video first. So yeah, basically continues to say that uh, Ren made a mistake when he threatened him because he threatened the wrong dude. But he is okay. He doesn't care about the whole lawyer bullshit. He'll end it right here. He'll give another reaction if he'll give give another reaction if. Vren goes out and makes another statement, but he will end it here because he he actually pities uh, RQ and Mr. AP. He, uh, yeah, it's a pity because they have to they have to really they have to you know handle all this stupid drama and also handle the team not making it to playoffs and also you know handling their coach who is uh, just you know. On IG making right. statements and stuff. Man, and then he goes on to say that he wants um, Lita, the a partner, like used to be a partner partner of MPL. Lita is like a platform where you can play together, and they make a lot of fun matches. He wants he wants to go up against Ren basically in a five v five in MLBB, and he he wants to play Rome. He said, "Okay, let's test let's test this coach out if he's actually any good." So yeah, there's a a full challenge as well from Banco Miss, but that's where the, the drama ends, ladies and gentlemen. Just want to give you guys that information real quick because um, probably you guys don't know anything about this. And yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below about this whole drama. I feel like, um, you know, I respect Ren actually. You know, I, I, I respect Ren despite, you know, this whole drama, this whole issue. But I have to agree with some of the things that Mr. Bankumis is saying. If, you know, the things that Bigatron Max, that Max said and that Bigatron said, about him in season 10 was actually false. He should actually come out and talk about it. He should actually say that it isn't true, give his side of the story. And um, yeah, he shouldn't really be too emotional as well because he did come to RQ. Technically, when you when you want to join RQ, this, this should be already within like the realm of expectations. If you don't do well in RQ, you're going to get bashed, especially when you don't make it to playoffs in, you know, the first, in, in, First time in history that RQ doesn't make it to playoffs, you're part of the coaching staff. So you're bound to get hate. You're bound to get uh, shit, like trash talked, all this shit, and you should just accept it when your performance is bad. Or like Mr. Ba like Bankumi said, actually do better. If you do better, it'll shut all the haters up. You will, you, you know, obviously you'll find success and all that. But yeah, I'll have to agree with actually what Bankumi is saying in this video. His disappearance has been pretty ridiculous as well, in my opinion. And again, I have no idea why. I I have been giving him the benefit of the doubt of like why he has disappeared. And I will continue to give him the benefit of the doubt until we actually hear from Coach Ren's like, side perspective. Because for now, I guess either there's an internal problem in RQ where Coach Ren can't say anything. Or Ren is doing the same thing that he did in Bigatron from what Max is saying and from what Bangkum is saying. So a lot of possibilities, but I will give friend the benefit of the doubt again we don't know the actual story we will wait for him to actually clarify whether this is true whether this is not whether he's been kicked whether he's still in rq i have no idea and technically no one actually knows except for rq the internal team and, and him himself
So until he actually clarifies and speaks up, we will never know. We can we will always just be able to make assumptions right now. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you guys agree with what Bangkumis is saying? Do you guys agree with are you on Ren's side? Are you on Bangkumis' side? And uh, yeah, what do you think about this whole drama? Yeah.